Hello, fine friends. Paul Gordon here, Harry American Troll, The Art of Face Dancing. How are you? I want to talk about the first choice conundrum, and I want to use an example in real life in order to hit this home, okay? I was talking with a colleague, dear friend of mine, wonderful guy, coming up with his program, and he has lots of work invested in this program, and he's ready to start to make his videos, okay? So now he's talking to me about this, and he's excited, and he's saying, okay, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, and I have a whole bunch of different ones that I want to talk about, so which video is the best one? What's the right one? And I said, you got to choose one, you got to choose one, and he said, uh, I don't know, I should do this one, I mean, but that one's good, and this one, and then I stopped him, I said, look, you just mentioned this word a few different times, I think you should go in that direction. He said, really? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, ah, but there's this other. Good. I said, no, 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 no. No, you got, you, know, you just mentioned in the past, like, two minutes, you mentioned this three times, this particular word, and I think you should go in that direction. He said, ah, are you sure? I said, yeah, 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 go there, do that. It's, it's good, it's good, isn't it? What's, what's good about that one? And he said, well, it's, uh, it's this, and it ties in here, and I think I can really do that. I said, ah, oh, that's great, that's great, that's great. And, um, he was getting more excited, and I said, do that, and he stopped focusing on whether or not that was the right one, and he started to get all excited about that particular one because I sort of used the mind trick of that one's perfect. Any one of them was perfect. Any one of them. He could have chosen any one. But I highlighted that one just because something I heard allowed me to say, ooh, do that one, that one's good. And it could have been any one, but that was the one. And it enabled him to get out of his own way and just do that one. And as soon as he did that one, he had another one ready. And then he did another one. And then he had another, like, three ready. And all he needed was someone to point to one and say, ooh, that one's so good. Because the fact is that all of them are good. You have lots of good ones. There is no one right one. The best one is the first one. So, once again, you want, to do a, you want to do a chance exercise. Write them down. Write an idea down on a, on, on a piece of paper. Write three or four good ideas on pieces of paper and small piece of paper. Put them face down on a table. Mix them up. Close your eyes and reach in and pull one. That one is the right one. Okay? <laughs> so... In the space of two minutes of convincing my buddy that that was the great one to start with, he was able to choose number one, and that brought him the choice of number two, and number three, and number four, and number five, and now he has plenty of them up there. <laughs> he just needed to start. That was it. Okay, real life example, Harry American Troll, um, Art of Face Dancing. Speak soon. Bye.